Highbury College is using the increased flexibility under the Qualifications and Credit Framework, or QCF, to design foundation learning programmes which are more personalised, to better engage needs, people who are not in employment, education or training. I think for the QCF to work well, initial advice and guidance is very important. That has to be right and you have to get the right individual onto the right sort of personalised programme. The centre here is aimed at the hard to reach clients for whom coming to one of our main sites would be quite a barrier. We are based within an area that's got high levels of deprivation so it's not just about providing information about courses and training opportunities, it's actually taking a look at the person, that person's specific needs and seeing how we can adapt the services to meet those. Myself and Highbury, we've worked very closely together to actually get the centre up and running. We look at a range of issues, so we look at if they've got a barrier to education or if they've got a barrier to employment, but equally they may have a debt issue, a housing issue that is stopping them from moving forward to education or employment. We are very interested in NEETS. We have a Moving On programme which has a, a QCF curriculum attached to it. This week we're going to recap on what we did last week, um, which we were looking at politics. So today I'm going to get you to design a poster. It provides students with a taster of a range of vocational, work-based and personal development units for them to progress on to um, a higher qualification from September. We recruit at the beginning of January to start at the end of January. So there is no gap. They are recruited and they start. 200 students we recruited in that way in January. So there was a real need that was caught and met there. No gap in between where they can chill and decide that it's not actually for them after all or they haven't got the confidence to go through with it. The units range from anything, for example, vocational tasters, so um, health and social care, computing, catering. Um, in addition to that, our literacy and numeracy units, um, personal development units and work-based units, for example, undertaking work experience. The more mixed a course or programme is, so that there are the aspects essential to the QCF, of um, personalised learning in through personal and social development, the life skills learning that needs to take place, the vocational learning and the employability skills. All of these things create, if they're put together properly, a really lively, vibrant programme. The best test of the success of the QCF programmes comes through learner feedback. Brilliant. I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Um, I've been here since January, it's, it's opened up loads of different avenues for me to do, um, to choose which other courses I want to do, I want to do health and social care. I think that the other thing that is really important for the QCF to work properly is for the young people or adults to be fully involved in the choices in their learning. At the beginning of the course, the learner pulled out various units and said, oh, wouldn't my, I'd be quite interested in these units, and so we've sort of blended them into the course. I would say it really gives them a flavour of vocational area and it gets them back into education, into a full-time programme. Yeah, I want to get my job doing catering, get all my qualifications, like pass my level three and just get into my own job. Introducing a new qualification system naturally has a major impact on staff. Well, I think there's been a substantial impact on staff. They've really had to think about a holistic approach to the curriculum. It's very different but they're impressed. I think it gives a greater level of flexibility. I do think that there's something in the QCF framework for everybody. Curriculum innovation sometimes means there are challenges and risks for providers. We took a risk with our January starts, but if you can attract back into learning two young people who have been neat and you can actually achieve their retention and achieve their progression, then that's worth an incredible amount. So I would suggest taking a measured risk. Mm -hmm.